Okay, Mr. Comatose done sent me something. I'm not altogether sure what is the meaning of this year. But, 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 but this came in the mail. Oh, just look at it. It's a Vermont pure maple syrup, one gallon can. Mmm. The honey baby said something about him wanting me to make him up a banjo. Is that what he said? He said if you felt like it or were so inclined or just kind of thought you might. So just in case I got in the mood to make a banjo yeah. and all? Yeah. Yeah. I hadn't really. I hadn't really. I hadn't really, I really like made it. I never know. thought about it. I mean, geez, huh? If you I don't know, I hadn't really thought about it. I guess I could think about it a little bit. Yeah, I should think about it. We could think about it a little bit. Got another one coming, so I got to choose between. I got I can't make a banjo out of two cans. I gotta have a neck. We're gonna look for a neck if you want it, if you want one. If, He's gonna if, look, if look for a neck. Well if he sent me a neck and a can then dang, it'd be like if I didn't make one, it'd be like having a new Corvette in the driveway and, and the teenage boy in the house. I mean the two of them just gotta get together, right? What? Right. Yeah. Right? So, there you go. There you go. I don't know what's going to happen. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. What did she say? I didn't say nothing. Okay, I didn't think you said nothing. All right, Dan, well, anything else we want to talk about while we're here? Have we showed them our pretty Christmas tree yet? Can they see that from this angle? Y'all see that pretty Christmas tree? Honey, but did that all by herself because she's smart. She's smart. She's so smart. She's so smart. She's so clever. So <laughs> Wee! 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 Well, that is a pretty can. I do have to say that. It is a mighty fine. It is a mighty fine. Huh? Oh, it looks okay. So I mentioned the other day that uh, Mr. Comato sent me a can. <clears throat> well, a couple of days later, it's your can. Look here. There's another can. Now here, this is a, this kind of brings up an interesting uh, uh, whatsoever. Uh, this here is a one gallon brake fluid can. Okay? One gallon brake fluid can. This here is a one gallon Vermont maple syrup can. Now does anything look out of proportion there to y'all? How is it that one gallon of brake fluid is bigger than one gallon of maple syrup? Hmm. That's just one of them things that makes you go, hmm. I suppose it is a little bit wider and it might be a little bit taller, but I don't know. Vermonters, they might be, they might be keeping some maple syrup to themselves. I'm just saying. Isn't it kind of interesting, the old brake fluid can? It's got a little tiny hole from the top of it. Speaking of holes, I've been thinking about making a can with a hole in it to let the air out of it. And uh, that can looks like it's been stained up some, probably from brake fluid leaking on it. That'd make a kind of interesting, interesting uh, victim right there. So anyway, Honey Baby mentioned up this morning that Mr. Comtos might have also bought up a neck. And he might be sending me a banjo neck on top of having sent me two banjo, two cans there. So, you know, I think it's beginning to be kind of like that movie show about the, you know, if you build it, they will come. I think he's thinking maybe if he sends me banjo parts, it'll get built. I don't know. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying that I think that's going to happen. I'm just saying it seems to be, things seem to be moving in the direction is what I'm saying. Is that, that's all I'm saying. Okay. All right, I'm not going to talk about that anymore today, okay? Okay. Bye.